In the first chapter of this online course, we defined the term microbiome. In this definition, one thing was striking. The statement that the microbiome, which forms a dynamic and interactive microecosystem, is integrated in macroecosystems, including eukaryotic hosts, and is here crucial for functioning and health. So what is meant by that? Evidence is accumulating that we and all other eukaryotes co-evolved with our microbiomes. The co-evolution is defined as the reciprocal adaption of lineages in response to one another. One example is the establishment of early land plants that was facilitated by symbiotic fungal associations, suggesting that plants have co-evolved with microbes since their first appearance on land. Another example are eukaryotes themselves. Mitochondria and plastids are organelles within eukaryotic cells that are derived from endosymbiontic bacteria and that, throughout coevolution, have become entirely dependent on their hosts, and vice versa, which is known as the endosymbionts theory. Host-microbe coevolution is important to consider in order to facilitate a holistic understanding of the microbiota. There are different types of coevolution. Antagonistic coevolution includes host parasite interactions, while mutualistic coevolution is present when positive interactions prevail. Such positive interactions may then evolve towards an obligate symbiosis. The importance of the microbiome goes beyond the health of individual hosts. Microbes from different hosts and ecosystems can strongly interact and influence one another. These observations have led to the slogan, a healthy environment promotes healthy humans, which endorsed the One Health concept. According to the World Health Organization, One Health is an approach designing and implementing programs, policies, legislation and research in which multiple sectors communicate and work together to achieve better public health outcomes. An expansion of the One Health concept, including environmental health and its relation to human cultures and habits, suggests that the lifestyle microbiota human health connection should be taken into account in societal decisions and policy making. For example, urbanization is associated with increases in allergies, asthma and chronic diseases. Besides overall pollution patterns, a significant loss of microbial diversity has been observed in urban areas, which has been associated with disease development. It is suggested that changes in the human microbiota occurring concomitantly with industrialization may be the underlying factor for dramatic increases in metabolic, immune and cognitive diseases including obesity, diabetes, asthma, allergies, inflammatory bowel disease and autism in the developed world. The theory of the disappearing microbiota suggests that prevalent chronic diseases are caused by the anthropogenic microbiome shift towards reduced diversity. The loss of diversity in turn is correlated with an increase in bacterial resistances against antibiotics, thereby indicating a need for implementing strategies to restore bacterial diversity. Considering this, it is important to rethink our activities like overcleaning of our home environments. And for agriculture, we need novel and targeted crop management approaches such as breeding strategies to avoid the loss of co-evolved beneficial host microbe interactions. So, however, nowadays we observed ongoing biodiversity loss, pollution, ozone depletion, climate change and crossing of biogeochemical cycle boundaries. Sadly, these represent the characteristic factors of our current epoch, the Anthropocene. So for solving this, the challenges associated with anthropogenic-driven changes in frame of One Health, the understanding of microbiomes might play a key role. Microbiome research provides a foundation for a broad scope of applications. Advances in engineering of environmental microbiomes will replace toxic chemicals in agri, horti and aquaculture in the future and stimulate a more sustainable use of environmental resources as well as improve our food processing. Agricultural products based on the microbiota are one of the fastest growing sectors in agronomy, with a compound annual growth rate of 15 to 18 percent and predicted value of over 10 billion US dollars by 2025. So I hope this chapter highlights the need for including the microbiome into the One Health concept. 
And in the next chapter, we will learn, amongst other things, how human diseases are related to the dysbiosis of the microbiome. Thank you for your attention.